So, what's the difference between a synthetic diamond and a lab grown diamond? Trick question. Nothing, they're the same thing. Hey everyone, and welcome to the Clear Cut Classroom, where we take deep dives into all things diamonds and jewelry. Today we're going to talk about the difference between synthetic diamonds and diamond simulants. I posted a reel the other day on synthetic diamonds and it blew up. There were so many comments, a lot of confusion, so I'm here to clear everything up for you. So, what is the difference between a synthetic diamond and a diamond simulant? Natural diamonds are formed under the earth over billions of years. They are a rare and finite resource and there are no new natural diamonds being formed. Lab-grown diamonds mimic what happens in the earth for natural diamonds in a laboratory. There are two main ways to create lab-grown diamonds. It's through CVD chemical vapor deposition or HPHT high pressure high temperature. You can create these lab-grown diamonds in a laboratory over a few days and that's what's mimicking what happens in the earth over billions of years. Lab-grown diamonds are by definition synthetic diamonds. The definition of synthetic is made by chemical synthesis especially to imitate a natural product which it is and there's nothing wrong with that but it's something that we have to acknowledge that synthetic and lab grown are the same thing by definition gia the gemological institute of america which is the foremost authority in diamond grading they grade natural diamonds and they grade lab grown diamonds they use the term interchangeably synthetic and lab grown because by definition it is the same thing. So what is a CZ, a cubic zirconia, and what is a moissanite? This is where a lot of people get tripped up because they think that cubic zirconia and moissanite are synthetic diamonds, but they're actually not. They're diamond simulants. So they're chemically not the same as a diamond at all. They're totally different stones, but they're made to simulate the look of diamonds. So that's the main difference between a diamond simulant and a synthetic diamond. And that's why it's so much easier to spot a cubic zirconia or moissanite with the naked eye. Synthetic gemstones are nothing new. Since the 1920s, there have been synthetic emeralds, rubies, and sapphires. But technology is caught up in recent days for synthetic diamonds. When you go to GIA to become a gemologist, I personally am a graduate gemologist, you take a lot of courses during your gem identification class to identify diamond simulants and synthetic diamonds and gemstones. There are many different ways to tell the difference between diamond simulants and synthetic diamonds and natural diamonds. If you're saying there's no possible way to tell the difference between a lab-grown synthetic diamond and a natural diamond, that is untrue. There are several ways to do it and we do it here every single day at the Clear Cut. The number one way and the easiest way is through machinery. Every single piece of jewelry we create goes through a machine that can tell the difference between a natural diamond and a synthetic diamond. And this is through the phosphorescence. Since they are created differently and through different chemical processes, although they are chemically the same, there are differences in the structure and the elements used to create them. Natural diamonds and lab grown diamonds will also have different types of inclusions that a trained gemologist can see through a microscope or a loop. Because the technology on synthetic diamonds, aka lab grown diamonds, has gotten so good and so effective and they're being produced in insane amounts, the production is infinite, I personally think that there won't be much use for the diamond simulants of the past like CZ or moissanite. I think synthetic diamonds are going to replace what we used to have diamond simulants for. For instance, we have a travel ring program at the Clear Cut. So if you have a natural diamond clear cut engagement ring, you get a free lab grown diamond for a travel ring. Previously, we used to use CZs for our travel rings, but now since the prices of lab grown diamonds have gone down so rapidly, I think that soon this will be a more widely adopted concept that we'll be using synthetic diamonds replacing what diamond simulants used to be. If you have a synthetic diamond and you love it, or you're hoping to buy a synthetic diamond, that is totally fine. Just know the true value of what you're purchasing and know what it truly is. Let me know if you guys have any comments. Comment below. Okay. Class is dismissed.